Hi, you know, if you're a final expense agent and you're concerned about your placement and persistency ratios, you should be. And today on this episode of Selling Life and Annuities, I, Randy Pearson, Vice President of Life and Annuities at Gordon Marketing, and my very good friend, Jim Paris, our uh, top life marketer in the final expense space, are gonna talk about those issues and hopefully provide you with some helpful hints that will improve your business. So stay tuned. All right, Jim, so uh, the final expense space, first and foremost, I just wanna make sure that I let the viewers know of this video that uh, you're our guy in the office at Gordon Marketing for final expense. So if they have questions about final expense carriers, who to write business with, um, uh, access to quotes, final expense leads. I mean, you're the man, correct? That is uh, the charge that you've given me, Brandy. That right. is uh, most definitely the case. Very good. You know, in the final expense arena, which can be a very profitable part of our business, placement and persistency are key factors to make sure that business stays profitable. And so today we wanted to take a few minutes in this video to help, understand, help agents understand some ideas on how to improve those ratios. So let's first start talking about placement. You know, how can an agent improve the way they do business and getting a good start? Well, Randy, one of the things that I know agents uh, overlook in placement of cases is those carriers are watching. They keep a close eye on these metrics. And if you continually submit business that doesn't get issued through them, you're gonna get a not so pleasant uh, letter in the mail from them. What you really can do is have your go-to carrier. Uh, it could vary from agent to agent, but there's you know, several carriers I could recommend if you give me a call. And they are easy to work with, easy to issue, and like to expedite things. That being said, we're working with an older population. You're gonna also want to have some niche carriers. Yeah, you know, you bring up an interesting point. I know we did a video recently where we talked about our final expense core carrier or preferred carrier cheat sheet. And on that cheat sheet, we have carriers listed that we like to do business with, that we think that agents can build a stronger uh, foundation through. So if you want access to that uh, final expense carrier preferred carrier cheat sheet, Make sure you send Jim an email or give him a call here at Gore Marketing and we can get that to you. But uh, yeah, placement, you know, it's a very interesting point that you make in that, you know, carriers, if an agent doesn't have a good placement ratio, they're likely to not have a long relationship with that carrier. But you know, a placing business, making sure that the clients take the policy is, is really two parts. As you mentioned, knowing the carrier and the product to make sure it's a good fit. And secondarily, making sure that the, uh, the client understands that that policy has dramatic value, uh, that it uh, fits their budget, and that they, they really have taken ownership of that contract so that in the second, third, fourth month when they get that bill, they don't, suddenly don't start thinking, you know, why do I really need this? So very good, yeah, placement. Let's talk a little bit about persistency, making sure that that business stays on the books. Uh, what are some of the some of the helpful hints that we might have for agents? Well, Randy, you just hit on uh, several of them. Uh, making sure that uh, the client can afford the product that you're selling them. Uh, it's going to do nobody no good if uh, two, three, four months down the line, they look at that statement coming in and decide maybe this wasn't the best purchase. Maybe we should just mm -hmm. let this go. Another thing to do uh, would be cross-selling. Uh, we have got an excellent uh, new carrier uh, available to us in the final expense market, um, which also offers a MedSup. If you, any agents out there that are doing senior business as well as final expense, you've got to contact me and I will fill you in on all the details. It is a wonderful product and uh, I might add the comp level is not too shabby. Yeah, I would agree. So certainly uh, cross-selling, having more than one product in that household is key to improving uh, your persistency. And certainly the fact that Gord Marketing were a leader in the Medicare space, Medicare is a great way to solidify that relationship and make sure that the client is thinking of you if they're pondering whether or not to keep a piece of business. 
Uh, you know, some of the other things that I, I know I mentioned to agents all the time with regards to improving their persistency is, is, is the easy stuff, right? Uh, thank you, handwritten thank you notes. Um, you know, for those older clients, that really resonates, right? Um, staying in touch with them, certainly through uh, the first year or two in the client-agent relationship, uh, things like uh, holiday greeting cards, birthday ca cards and or calls, and other types of relationship building opportunities are key to increasing that persistency. Uh, anything else that you can think of that we might suggest? You know, you really hit on some great points, Randy, especially for newer agents, the handwritten cards, the personalized phone calls. As you do become more and more successful, you're going to find your time is being spent mostly in the field selling and some of these mundane tasks that might go by the wayside can be easily automated. Uh, put together a list of uh, vendors that I've used in the past. I know agents, uh, other agents are using uh, that make things uh, very personable, mm -hmm. yet still frees you up to do what you do best, and that's be out there selling. Yeah, wonderful point. You know, uh, if you're an agent watching this video and uh, we've hit a couple of salient points for you, I would encourage you to reach out to Jim because we do have a tips and helpful hints sheet that we can put in your hands where uh, you can learn more about some of the easy to use, economical tools to automate your, your client relationship building activities and dramatically increase your persistency. But for now, our time has run out, Jim. So uh, we must call this episode of Selling Life and Annuities to an end. I would ask you to please do me a favor and click subscribe uh, at the bottom of this video. So uh, you know, you'll see all of our Selling Life and Annuity videos when they come out. And I appreciate your time for watching. Please stay tuned for our next episode and happy selling. <laughs>